the matcha is so good. I'm praying they get it together. Watch me take, watch me take. By the time your biscuit got your biscuit. I was trying to pass like I'm always in a hurry. Okay, what's up? Ew, hair. Um, spend the day with a regular degular schmegler lady who isn't like a super rich YouTuber. So like maybe you can relate, maybe you can't. I don't know. Um, we're just gonna be running some errands. I need to go get my nose done because I'm tired of looking like a little boy. Go grocery shopping and we're gonna talk about life. And we're gonna talk about how people be scamming on this app, trying to tell you how to glow up and knowing that it's not really gonna change. And I'm gonna give you my opinions of someone who's actually glown up and what I did to like take myself to the next level and what I'm going to be doing to continue to take myself to that next level you know vibe with me okay introductions hello welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Tiara and I be creating all kinds of stuff I don't know I'm still trying to find my footing here just a regular regular schmegular 33 year old woman just trying to navigate life if that seems like your vibe stick around because I would love to have you. First up, these nails. I haven't even had a coffee. This is letting you know my priorities are like in order. Look at these nubs. Look at my little ashy hands. They're a mess. We gotta get them taken care of. I'm going to this nail shop. They disappointed me in the past. I'm praying they get it together. I'm praying they get it together. I have an idea in my head. I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull it off. I really don't know. I'm gonna pray. I'm trying to be optimistic today. You know, I am on my period, so like life is already like, I'm hanging on by a thread. I'm hoping we can pull through. <laughs> it's for my vlog for YouTube. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Do that and TikTok. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If you can tell okay it's supposed to be like a cat eye it's not really they're not quite what I wanted but you gotta do what you gotta do especially in a small town I think the photo of the inspiration what I had I think I'm just gonna hold on I think I'm gonna order that specific polish so that I can bring it to have exactly what I want. But I don't, the camera's not picking it up. It's looking more silver, but it's like brown. And yeah, I'll try to insert like a clip or something, but it's not bad. Let's go get a coffee. Cause I have to go to, what is going on with my tire pressure? I think it's just because it's so cold outside, but. I want to try a new coffee shop. Well, ain't new, new, but newish, because we're not doing Starbucks anymore. So, and then I need to get on the road because I need to go to Sacramento to get my dog's food. Okay. Let's go. I was in here way longer than I anticipated, but it's okay. And it's always so funny because the older woman, like an older woman, will start off and it's like they're not really hip to what the girlies are wanting these days. So then like the two newer ones, they always have to like bounce back and forth to try to like give the people what they want, which is fine. But and this is very impromptu. Like I was just like, oh, I'm tired of my nails looking a hot mess, which I'm probably like really about to disappoint myself because. I said that I wanted to try to do like gel X or do more press-ons but then do it with the builder gel and then here I am getting acrylics but I needed that tink 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 I missed that enough about me how's everybody else doing what day is it it is the 14th of December we're already like halfway through December that is so wild to me How's everyone else doing? How are you feeling? How are you guys feeling about the holidays? I don't know, like I'm actually off, which I'm kind of like ticked off about it because I wanted the weekend, how my job does it in the military. You either get Christmas off or you get New Year's off. I requested 
New Year's off, but I did not get it. And then they're like, oh, but we gave you a pass, which is not really a pass because I was already gonna be off. If you we followed my normal schedule for work, I was already gonna be off for Christmas. So it's not like they did me any favors. I typically don't request Christmas off because it's not like I have children or anything like that. But I just recently started dating a guy, literally. I think we just hit, we're almost at four. We're almost at four weeks, so we're almost at a month. Very, very new very brand spanking new but everything is going really well so we decided that we are going to do christmas together which i guess is cute you know it's really cute and instead of us um he had asked if we wanted to exchange christmas gifts and at first i was like sure but then i was like i don't even know what you like and he was like yeah i don't want you to just get something just to be getting it um and then i gave him the idea like hey instead of us exchanging christmas gifts why don't we do something like the angel tree or operation santa where we buy we go shopping together and we buy christmas gifts for um you know disadvantaged or um lower income youth so he was like oh that was a good idea i think i impressed him a little bit with that i think he was just like used to like being like oh yeah let's get the gift like i want the gift but i was like you're right we shouldn't just be getting stuff for each other just to be getting it like we can just do that on our own i think this will be like more meaningful and we decided that we're gonna cook for christmas which will also be cute i think we're like uh we've chosen somewhat of a menu we're <laughs> picking and choosing like what we want we have like the main dish we're gonna do like some type of chicken um but we're also going to um be making sides and he's like oh we should make desserts and i'm like oh sounding like work sound like work so i'm probably gonna be like let's buy the dessert let's outsource neither one of us are bakers let's not get up above our heads you know what i'm saying plus we don't know like how i am in the kitchen like i don't want nobody in the kitchen with me like i just want to do everything but we are trying to do it together so this will be very interesting to see how we are together like see what like gets on our nerves like little quirks and things like that so that'll be fun but we're also going to be finalizing our menu <laughs> for christmas and discussing like when we're gonna go buy stuff for it um so that'll be cute that's it let me shut up a little bit and then i will see you guys at the coffee shop Ooh. also may i have a 16 ounce um iced matcha can i do it with oat milk and can i get it sweetened with brown sugar yeah, absolutely. Do you want the sweetened powder as well as the brown chicken? How sweet is the powder? Um, it's not like overly sweet, but okay, I it's definitely it. like it, it's definitely sweet. But a lot of people like the sweetened powder with the brown sugar. Stuff. Okay, then we'll do that then. We'll What's your name? Tierra. T i e r r a. Anything else for you today? That'll be it. Thank you. Do you have any plans for your day? Yeah, I got a lot of errands to run. Yeah. So I need a lot of fuel. <laughs> you came to the right place. Thank you. Oh, first off, the matcha is so good. I did my classic order matcha with oat milk flavored with brown sugar and she's like do you want the sugar powder or something i was like sure then i got a breakfast wrap it's not really breakfast but i'm hungry so like you got sausage egg hash browns tomatoes and like a chipotle yeah i'm gonna spare you guys i'm gonna run and get a battery we're gonna come back can you well can you just take that one to the front office then i have to give a boat to the front office only then that's fine so you can fine. give it to them and i'll pick it up DJ be getting on my nerves. Getting on my nerves. <laughs> Let's go get my dog's food, y'all.
I'm going to get to come back. I got to work. Don't look sad, but I'm going to come back. I'm probably going to come back in the springtime or summertime. So you're going to come back Christmas break? No, I can't come back Christmas. I can't hear you. I love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay. Let me put Charlie's food up. My dog eats raw. So every two weeks, I gotta go get her food. Eat better than me. Girl, move. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Here, you want a treat? That's for Luna. Come here. Y'all want to see the most gentle treat cake <laughs> And dehydrate. Yo, if you got Trader Joe's, get these coffee creamers. I always do the brown sugar, but they have a cinnamon bun one. I'm really excited about that one. Let me put my groceries up and then we'll talk and we'll chit chat and things. Let's get to how the girlies be lying to y'all on this hair app. Every year around this time, everyone starts talking about, you know, glow up for the next year. You need to glow up for the next year. I had five steps to become completely unrecognizable and it's all the same things. They tell you that you need to work out, you need to read Atomic Habits, you need to have a morning routine, and you need to drink green juice and things like that. And all of those things are cute little systems that you can set, for, set up for yourself, but it's not going to enact change. And that's why all your goals, settings, and things like that always fell back, revert back to what you were doing because that is not like changing the route. To glow up and to actually become unrecognizable, you have to create friction in your life. It's not going to be like you just waking up, going to the gym, writing in your gratitude journal. Like you have to get to the root and you have to pinpoint what it is that you actually want to change. And this requires you to be truly honest with yourself. Like you need to sit down with yourself and be like, what do I need to change? There are some things about you that probably don't need to be changed, but there are some things that you probably can be that you need to change. Like say you feel that you're an insecure person. You need to be honest with yourself. A lot of people, this is why it doesn't work because they're not honest with themselves. And take it from someone who's like completely, I'm a completely different person than who I was last year and the year before and the year before because I have to have these honest, open, sorry, my dog is drinking water. I had to have these open, honest conversations with myself and my therapist to get to the root cause. Like, I'm a procrastinator. I like had um, terrible like relationships, like... I would find myself into these relationships. I suffer from depression and anxiety. I knew like I wanted more for myself and I knew that the military was not my end all be all. Like I had to have like these honest and open communications with myself. So like you need to sit, the first step is to sit down and pinpoint what it is that you actually need to change and truly, truly be honest with yourself. Don't be just putting some cute little, like trying to just set some goals. Like, oh, I'm going to run five miles and you ain't never ran a day in your life. Like, let's get to the root of it. And one of the biggest things to create the friction, because to create change within yourself, there has to be friction. Like, you can't stay in the same type of homeostasis and think that you're going to be able to be the, magically become a different person. No. So, the first thing that I would say is your environment. Now... Everybody don't have the funds and things like that on a micro level to just pick up and move and go to a different city, go to a different state. Me with my job, you know, it was easy because they move us. This is like my third location being within the military. But for you, there are some micro changes and there are some micro changes that you can enact in yourself to create this friction, to create the change that you need to become unrecognizable and you glow up. Micro. Micro, if you don't have the funds and things like that to pick up and move apartments or move cities or states or out of the country or what have you, change the environment in which you live. So your home decor. It doesn't even necessarily need to be you buying new furniture, buying um, new like decorative like pillows and things like that. If you can rearrange your furniture, 
that will create a like a change because you've probably been in your apartment and your couch probably been in the same spot forever you know if you could just rearrange some things move your bed to a different wall move your couch to a different wall that can shift some things up in you as well as like you can change your decor so you probably have the same pillowcases and pictures on the wall and decor is does that resonate with you anymore like say for instance when i first moved to california back in 2021 i was in my boho era like everybody and a mama clearly if you look on my apartment now my apartment tour i'm not a boho girly like that does not resonate with me so i had to change my environment to evolve with where i was today what else on a macro level if you don't have it to move cities or states or say you have a really good job or stable job and you have a little bit of means, move apartments instead of staying in the same building unless you have like a really good deal because housing is insane right now. But if you have the means to maybe change your apartment locale if you can pull that and um, maybe try to live downtown or just in a different building or even if you wanted to stay in the same apartment complex, maybe change just a different building apartment you can get like more sun or something like that have a different view those all can enact some type of friction and like shift your routine to help give you that shift that you need to jump start this glow up what else oh and if you have the means the funds say you can work remote or you just like i don't care i'm just gonna get a new job and start all over move cities move states hell if you have it move out of the country those are like the shifts that you need that friction and tension that you need to create change within yourself of the saying when they say that everybody cannot come with you on your next journey let me be some people in your life that are only going to be there for a season whether it be friends family co-workers your job what have you this is the time where you need to be audit doing a i call it a audit like do a friendship audit there are probably some people in your circle that whenever i said that there's a name that popped in your head where maybe they haven't been the most supportive maybe they have been like a dry hater maybe like whenever you say like oh i want to do this they always got 10 things on why you shouldn't do it or they haven't been um supportive of your goals and your dreams or your aspirations always got something negative to say always like there's a person coming up in your head do a friendship audit where you weigh out the pros where where at the crunk oh where you weigh out the pros and you weigh out the cons because maybe that person's like time is up in your life like i said i've said this before in the past everyone doesn't need to know every little thing that you're doing in your life if you are on a journey to change yourself everybody doesn't need to be privy to that like they're gonna start noticing once you start putting in the work and it's how you move in and how you're carrying yourself but you don't have to tell everybody like that you're on this like journey of like trying to glow up and things like that you can if you want to but just be cognizant that that everyone isn't going to be as motivated and sometimes you can trigger something to someone like if you're trying to evolve but they're not necessarily trying to evolve to where they can you could trigger them to like um well what is she doing she thinks she better than me type like that type of like mindset energy so just be cognizant of that and do some friendship audits maybe instead of like people you consider your best friend maybe they need to step down to just being a friend or maybe they need to step down to be an acquaintance maybe you can have them in your life in a different way or if y'all cool like that, maybe you need to be like, hey, girl, this is how I've been feeling. Like, have a big girl conversation. Like, hey, this is how I've been feeling. This is how I feel. Like, this is how you make me feel whenever you say X, Y, and Z. And see, give them an opportunity to correct the actions or the behavior. But this is a time to be auditing the people in your life and auditing those relationships. Like, if you're in a relationship, unless, unless it's like amazing marriage, you know, things like that, audit. This is like the new, this is a year to really truly get to a level of confidence. And the number one thing that I feel like is not talked about when it comes to the conversation of confidence is setting boundaries. Nothing screams insecure than let, not letting, like not setting boundaries and letting people walk all over you, talk to you any type of way, mistreat you, do whatever they want to do to you because they know that you're not going to do anything because that's your norm of letting people do all of those things. 
learn to set boundaries learn to set boundaries we are not people pleasing anymore it gets you nowhere this is like the truly the year of like being a little bit selfish and putting yourself first and putting your feelings first i want to have the audacity of a white woman like they put their feelings first all of like they that's how they move i well hello that's how they move get away from her food girl that's how they move have the audacity of a white woman put your feelings and your emotions first no more people pleasing and we're setting boundaries in 2024 for yourself to anyone else the only person that you are in competition with is yourself from last year be better than her comparison is the killer of joy do not do that to yourself you will always be in a spiral if you're constantly comparing your life your progress anything your looks what have you to someone else do not do that like i said the only person that we are in com competition with is the girl are us from last year that is it be better than her and back to like this is going to be like tied more into the boundaries you need to check people the first time check people that cross you disrespect you mistreat you stand on business in 2024 if they said it and you felt a way about it they meant that so what you gonna do about it that's all i got i need to eat i i would love to hear y'all's opinions on this maybe i'll make like a more in-depth video on it to really like hone in and fine-tune those things i'm about to eat my man who ain't my man is about to call this was like fun. Maybe I'll do more like hang out with me type videos like that. If you enjoyed it, consider sticking around. I love y'all. But yeah. I'll hit y'all.